Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Pace Studios. We're live with Gillette Johnson. Gillette, thank you so much for being here. Hi. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. I'm really glad we were able to make this one work. Me too. Um, So you have got four songs to play today, and three of them are off the records out on on Rounder right now. All I Ever See in You Is Me. Mm -hmm. Uh, Can you tell us a bit about the first one? Sure. Um, I wrote the first one as right after I drove through San Bernardino, um, and... I drove through San Bernardino right when the shootings happened, and I was very shaken up by it, as I think the rest of the world was. Um, So I wrote a song about fear and what that does to us and what we do to it. This is called Flip a Coin. Get in the car and drive till you're an etiquette over the mountain, over the hill, and over the underpass. Do we get to the border of Montreal? Find a cabin in the woods and build a sturdy wall. Nobody knows who's next, and I suppose. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. It's a great song. I enjoyed that a lot. Thank you. Appreciate it. So you're playing it. Uh, three off of All I Ever See in You Is Me, and uh, you're on the road right now, I know, with uh, with Parker Millsap, and uh, last night at Bowery Ballroom, and there's a couple more, four more uh, tour dates coming up. Yeah, we're, we're still playing. Um, we have Cambridge at the Sinclair on the 19th. Johnny Brenda's in Philly on the 21st, and then we go to Pittsburgh and Columbus. And then I go back to Nashville. Nice. 
All the tour dates, of course, are up at GilletteJohnson.com, J-I-L-L-E-T-T-E, Johnson.com. Yeah. Um, so check her out there. And um, can you tell us a little bit about the second song you're playing off the record? Sure. Um, so this is a song that I wrote when I was still living in New York. And it, I guess it was about wanderlust in my life and what, wanting to sort of be somewhere else physically and also emotionally. Um, it's called Holiday. That sounds great. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for coming in and sharing these songs with us. Yeah. Um, so there's a third song. So we're doing one more off the album? Yeah, let's do one more off the, the album. Okay. And cool. what is that? What's coming up? Um, this one is called Bunny. It's the first song on the album. And it's funny. It's a, It was kind of like a song that I wrote to as a pep talk for myself. And I, I close out all of my shows with this song. And it's always a great, like... Um, kind of cathartic moment because it sort of talks about the pain and the joy of making music and sharing it for people and trying to make a career out of it. And it's always like this crazy, um, like pulling apart of my heart feeling. <laughs> so yeah, I guess this is a song that talks about the pulling apart of the heart feeling. Yeah, it's not an easy thing. You definitely cannot detract from anybody who has figured out how to make a living doing doing this. <laughs> No, you know, even, um, I think even if you are very successful at it, there's just so much that you put into it of yourself. It's, you're so fragile all the time, hopefully. So, um, maybe I, I guess hopefully that feeling never goes away because that's what makes you write songs. Uh, but it's hard because you're also like, you know, trying to be strong and, and make people believe that you are strong all the time. 
Let's play a song. <laughs> army comes flying down the mountain with their supersonic guns because i don't know what it is about that line but it definitely hits me in exactly the right spot was that did that come to you immediately was that the sort of lyric that you had to work on and rewrite or did that just appear one day for you um so i wrote that song in the middle of the night several years ago and it i just remember starting it and being like i don't know if this is a good song or a bad song and then I was just kind of like, but it's kind of coming out, so I just let it, I should let it come out, but I'm really tired. So I wrote the first verse, and then I went to bed, 
And then I couldn't stop writing the song, so I just kept getting back up out of bed and writing more. And the Robot Army line, um, yeah, it just sort of came out naturally. I mean, it means, like, when I write songs, it's all, like, I'm letting the story come out as it wants to. I don't usually know what the story is going to be until it's out there. Um, so to me, that line means, um, you know, nothing really matters. <laughs> like we're all kind of going to shit at some point <laughs> anyway. So I just have to hold on to the things that I know are real for me and um, try not to be too attached to what craziness is happening around me because those things I can't control. Um, and that's, that's part of why it's so helpful for me to sing this song in my shows because I just go back and forth constantly between being connected to the songs and being present and grateful to be there and then like freaking out about what else is happening around me and um, the freak out part is natural but it's definitely not like the pure expression of myself as a musician so the more that I can not worry about the robot army the better yeah. Well, it's a beautiful song. Um, so everything's going to shit. We're all going to die. <laughs> Nothing matters. Yeah, but the takeaway totally. being stay in the moment because that really is the only thing that does matter. Yeah. You know. Um, so we're going to do a fourth that is, I th you're premiering it here now, right? Has anybody heard this outside um, of the context of no, maybe a show? Nobody has heard it. I, I have been, I've been playing it in my shows, um, but I haven't recorded it in an official capacity it hasn't gone on a record or anything yet. So this I, is like probably going to be one that's off of the forthcoming album. You're working on new material I, right now. I am working on new material. I think that it will um, go on an EP or a record soon. I, uh, it's a, it's a very personal song and I'm a little nervous about sharing it in the world, but every time I play it, it feels like um, a good idea. So, I guess I'm going to do it. Um, it's about a brother of mine who I haven't seen in 20 years. And I started writing songs about 20 years ago. Um, I'm, I just turned 29, so I started writing songs when I was eight or nine. And I've written songs about all kinds of things, but over the years I keep trying to write a song about the brother that I haven't seen in 20 years. And it's um, it's been like an impossible subject for me to broach because there's so many things that I don't know and or understand about it. So I think I finally wrote the song, which doesn't mean that I'm going to stop writing songs, but it's definitely feels like an accomplishment. And it's called Other Brother. My version of the truth is
Thank you for sharing that with us today yeah and all those songs so the first three off of the album that's out on rounder records right now called all i ever see in you is me mm -hmm. and one new one from the uh the uh two the forthcoming album that will uh, be in the world at some point yeah and uh travel safe have a great time on the rest of the tour and thanks again for stopping by and playing with us thank you so much for having me